What's going on guys, Roger here, QBO Tactical. We are back out on the range with the PSA Saber M110A1. Uh, guys, we are out doing some long range stuff with it. I have the camera running here, I have the trigger cam running here so you guys can see what we are seeing. And we've already uh, zeroed, and from the previous video, we found that the best ammunition combo for this uh, was the uh, 308, uh, 168 grain hollow point boat tail from S&B. That's the uh, best grouping that we got in that first video. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but we are going to start off at, what's the distance, Marco? 220. All right, first target is going to be out at 220 yards. Uh, the chicken holdover should be on the screen. Ready, guys? Yep. I'm gonna hit the plate next to it. Nice. All right, what's next, Marco? Got, uh, go left, it'll be pigs, 330, or 340. Left of pigs is gonna be holding at the two. Flag. So, Flag pigs holding just above two. A little bit of wind. Looks like it was high. Nice. Next up. To the right, which is the turkeys, it's about 420. Okay, turkeys at 420 is just under the two. Turkey, yellow plate. Yellow plate, got it. And. That's hit. And the turkey now. And hit. Nice. Next up. Next up, got sheep, which is 570, which is to the left of that. Big horn sheep. Uh, it's going to be yellow plate, big horn sheep. Just under the four left of that. Is that the one that was straight back? Yeah. Nope, I'm looking at a pig again. I missed oh, this yeah, one. Up. Go above that. Oh, there we go. Big horn, just under the four. How, how far out? Uh, 570. It's 570 yards. Here we go. Nice. The next one up is above that. You got 716. 716. The hold is just under the six, and that's that one that was right above the right one above one it. To the right, it's a little, um, silhouette. Yeah, silhouette. Got right it. Little luck. Maybe half an inch, half a foot off. That's a hit. Nice. How far was that one? Uh, 720 pretty much. Nice. So now we're going to go... Eight, 880. That's uh, to the right of that, which is... So for 880, smiley face. Smiley face. the hold ends up being... So with using the trigger cam setup, I'm kind of limited. I can't really rack my uh, magnification. So we're going to dial up for this one. So if we go to the ballistic app, and what's the distance? 880. 880 yards. 878, pretty much. So it's easy to go up 93 clicks. Oh boy. Woo. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 90, 6, 7, 8, 91, 92, 93. All right. 880. So at 880 yards now, we've dialed up 93. I guess that would be what, 9.3 mil? Yeah, so we dialed up a little over 9 mils. And where's that guy at? Uh, it's going to be right of the 7, or the uh, 720 shot. Right of it? Smiley face circle, silhouette, and a rectangle. Got it. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the smiley face first. Yep. Uh, let me change this parallax to, what is this, 880? 880. Ready? Yep. You good, John? Yep. Like just high. You're low, low left. Out. Still low left. Hit. Nice. Hit. Nice. Um, 
where did that go? Here it is. Try the other guy next to it. Yep. Or actually the taller, the second guy next to it. Back to the smiley face. Nice. All right, what was next? Oh, it's up 960, which is to the left of that. So 960 yeah. is up 109, so we're going to go, what, 7, 9, 16 more clicks up? Mm -hmm. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, to the left, if you go past the whole target set. Past the, past the pig? Yeah, past the, the pig. The sheep? It'll be above the pigs, pretty much. Yeah. Is it that one straight back? Uh, for you, I think you're lined up on it right now. Yeah, straight back. 960. Is it a red c center again? Yep, red yep. center is going to be one square next to it. Uh oh, where'd it go? There we go. Alright, ready? Yep. Low left, just barely off target. Low left again, barely off. Eleven hundred with a three hundred eight. One hundred forty-two. So where were we just at? We came up thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. All right. Where's this guy at? You just go where you were at and go all the way to the right. The targets will be mirrored again. Big circle with the big uh, in front of the black mountain. Yeah. I don't see it. The closest peak next to us. Uh, so going from that guy, go to the right. Yep. Yeah, black mountain. Go farther. Black mountain. Go farther. All the way over here. Pretty much. Oh, okay. There you go. Thanks. All right. Same exact targets? Yep. Here we go. Hit. A little left about uh, one target. I think that was a hit. I don't think we're going to hear it at this distance. I think it was a hit too. I didn't see any through. I saw the splash. It looked like a splash one. Oh, okay. That was a little left. Hit. Hey, heard that one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, I'll shoot it and let's just see if we hear it. All the way out to 1100 with this $1,200 uh, PSA Saver M110A1. Uh, that's pretty dang impressive. Um, for you guys out there that picked this gun up, again, like the whole setup we went over in the first video, definitely check that out. But Leopold Mark V HD uh, with the S&B 168 hollow point boat tail and uh, Huxworks TI 762 Flow. Um, we are now going to do something even more fun though. We're going to hook this thing up to a PVS 30, or I should say we're going to put a PVS 30 in front of this Mark V HD and do all of this at night when the sun goes all the way down. So stay tuned one minute for that. And now it is nighttime and we're going to shoot some long range night vision content for you guys. Again, trigger cam is set up on the Leopold Mark V HD with a Knight's Armament PVS 30 attached here in the front. You guys should be seeing some uh, old school green night vision looking stuff through this optic here. We're gonna go back out to, what is it? The chickens at 220, Marco? 220 for chickens. John, if you could find those and point them out for me. <laughs> Are the chickens out front? Should be out front. 
Oh, I'm at the wrong side. Here we go. The chickens, I think, are directly straight out front. Let's bring this in. Parallax to 200. All right, here we go. Yep. So we're just under the two for the, or actually just under the crosshair for this plate. 200, here we go. Easy money. All right, next up is what, 400? Four, four, Wait, three. Oh yeah. Hey guys, want to take a second to thank Mikey and the team over at Venture Ammunitions. Uh, they helped us out with this video by getting us some SMB uh, 168 grain 308 hollow point bow tie ammunition. We did find that that was the best ammo to use in this gun that gave us the best grouping, the best zero. Uh, Mikey let me purchase this for a significant discount. Um, as you guys know, ammunition is pretty expensive, but Venture has a wide selection of high quality ammo at very good affordable prices, especially if you're local in Vegas, you can just go in there and pick it up. Uh, in addition to that, guys, uh, Mikey did let me know that Venture Munitions will be having some of these uh, PSA Saber M110A1s in shop. So if you're somebody that kind of wants to see something and physically touch it before you buy it, you can go down there and check it out. Um, in addition to that, if you like it that much, you could probably pick it up there. Um, when I bought this one from PSA, I did have to sign up for the email restock notifications, and it did take me about a month to finally get in on one of those drops and buy this gun. So if you're local to Vegas, definitely hit up Venture Munitions if you want to check this gun out. And if you're looking for the ammunition that worked best with it, well, for us, anyway it was again this smb um, 308 168 grain hollow point boat tail again thanks to mikey and the team of ventura all right pigs at 343 yards holding just above two Hit. 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 nice bighorn sheep 570 All right, so about 570 yards out, guys. It is starting to be very difficult to see the target without some type of illumination. Um, it's pretty pitch black out here now. Uh, I am gonna throw on, I have the AI-1 head, which is a, uh, it's actual, uh, like a diluted laser that shoots out a beam. It's pointing away from the PVS series, so we, sh uh, we should be fine. But ideally, I'd probably want like a mod light IR head for shooting this far distance. But uh, now, it should be clear as day when I come up on these things. Let me focus up the PVS-30 a little bit better. One sec here. Nope, either way it goes pretty. You can kind of see a shape, here we go. There we go. Look at that beam, dude. I mean, What's next? 720 right above those, right behind them, right behind that free uh, windsock. 720, point, somebody else pointed out there too. Where the windsock is, right? Yeah. That? Yep. Oh man, I can't even see those guys. You see them with both lights on? No, I, I can barely see a silhouette. Nice. <laughs> Shooting in the dark. It's like there's the silhouette, and I have to move up. So we're holding under the six. Is that a hit? Sound 
Is this hitting? It sounds like it. Nice. All right, guys, so yeah, shooting out to, what are we at, 716 yards. Uh, the PVS-30 alone, a little difficult. Threw on a little bit of white light out there to get uh, the, that little um, wind flag to reflect and show us where the target was. But I think with maybe like a mod light IR head, I mean, we can come back out and do it again, Marco. Oh, yeah. You know, me up here. But um, yeah, like, guys, this gun is super capable. Um, we're all hitting distances in the daytime all the way out to 1100 consistently and now at night hitting out to 716 so anybody that was curious about picking this thing up uh to me it is checking all the boxes in regards to the grouping the accuracy the consistency uh, again the combination that we found that's working for us is the uh 168 grain smb um, hollow point boat tail ammunition with the huxwork 762 um, ti i'm gonna go back and look at some of these clips and see how the flash is did you guys notice any flash when we we're shooting very little. Oh. very little okay and the mark 5 super super clear um yeah this whole setup i'm really digging probably i i will say i'm liking this um i wish the mark 12 the other one that i had that I did from psa was as accurate as this i know it's a 223 but with the 77 green i was kind of hoping it was going to be this accurate but this thing is definitely giving me that confident uh zero grouping that i want so uh, for all of you guys that are wondering about it that's our thoughts on it shooting at long range it was definitely capable so hope you guys enjoyed the video um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section please like subscribe do all that stuff uh, as always we'll see you in the next one This is the budget, like, M110A1. The gun's $1,200. Everything else on that gun is more expensive than the gun. I think it's an awesome setup. Like, I've never hit anything with my high-powered rifles at 1,100 yards, and I can do it with a budget rifle like this. I mean, it's pretty sweet. So, for those of you watching the channel, uh, this is my buddy Spencer. I play Call of Duty with Spencer. He uh, lives a town over and he came out. I was like, hey man, we're gonna go shoot some guns, doing some long range stuff. And we're gonna play with some night vision here in a second. So he came out to shoot with us. But yeah, um, there you go, man. So and maybe instead of us buying new PCs, we'll buy, you get one of these. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. You play for real life now. Go for it, Marco. <laughs> yeah, seriously.